Well, all evening, we have been following reaction to Fred Thompson's death. Those who knew him are honoring the man who made his mark from the nation's capital to Hollywood. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us now with that part of the story. Jason? Well, Shannon, the folks we talked with cited Thompson's larger-than-life personality and folksy common-sense attitude that led to his career in politics and Hollywood. The long walk to the national spotlight for Fred Thompson began long before this appearance at the Republican National Convention. Thank you! Those who knew him say it was his big personality Thank you. that got him there. Very few people could light up a room the way Fred Thompson did, and he did it just by being himself. You know, whether he was an actor or a lawyer or the Watergate Council or United States Senator, um, he, he, people trusted him, liked him, elected him, <laughs> believed what he said. He was a very special person. Largely an outsider to politics, when he won the U.S. Senate seat last held by Vice President Al Gore, Thompson was able to connect with voters. Common sense, maybe, but it sure isn't common in Washington right now. Bringing that, that down-home, folksy common sense to Washington is what made him stand out amongst his colleagues and stand out uh, to the rest of the country. U.S. Senator Bob Corker told us tonight, from the courtroom to Capitol Hill to Hollywood, his larger-than-life personality was infectious and had a way of making all of those around him strive to be better. Through his many different roles in public life, Fred never forgot where he came from. It was a sentiment echoed by Tennessee House Speaker Beth Harwell, who said Fred Thompson left an indelible mark on this state. Over his long and accomplished career, he never forgot where he came from. He was a Tennessean through and through. I am honored and proud to have known him and to have called him a friend. For Thompson, his was a long walk to the spotlight in Washington and Hollywood that he perhaps at one time could never imagine for himself. But those who knew him say it left his home state and his country better. And while we've been getting condolences coming in all over the country with the news of Fred Thompson's death, you can sure bet that a lot of people in his home county of Lawrence County are mourning his loss as well.